Hello everybody and welcome back to making Fort Park in Planet Coaster. Um, sorry for the lack of uh, voiceovers in the latest videos. I have had quite um, a few projects going on and I'm just trying to get them all organised. So while I build depth charge in the background, I'm just going to go over uh, what I've done in the past few weeks. Um, so obviously in the first video I built the entrance and I'm... I did sort of want to explain, I did realise that the ticket booths that I built in that video uh, were actually changed into the, the security check area um, and the ticket booths have now moved next to the uh, main entrance another thing with the main entrance, I have used the old graphics um, I would re try to remake the, the new ones but I just don't know how I would do that and if they, the original images do get released uh, somehow then I will update that also in the same video uh, I did the interior for the entrance I did the air gates and all the, the little props that they have in there I also made some signs off camera in TMTK uh, I still need to add the map in there and the map stand even though that's not being used this year for obvious reasons but yeah I still need to do those and I've just had a lot going on and I you probably should do it soon because I'll end up forgetting about it. Anyway, I also started the bridge off camera. I still need to do those archways that have the signs on them. Haven't made those signs in TMTK yet, but I still need to do that. So I should get onto that soon, hopefully. Um, I've also left the gap for... I've left the gap for the path that leads up to the Shark Hotel. I will be doing the Shark Hotel entrance, but I'm not actually going to be building like the interior of the Shark Hotel or anything like that. They're just going to be simple cabins or shipping containers, probably. Um, I just don't have... Uh, nobody's really going to care about that anyway, so I don't see the point in doing an interior for it. Um, after that, we had a bit of a break, and I actually uploaded a video reviewing Terrible Coasters. Um, a lot of people took that video a bit too seriously. I just want to remind everyone that that video is a bit of a joke. Um... That was recorded live on Lokim's Discord server. It is a very good place just to chat. I'm on there a lot of the time, so I will actually leave a link to that in the description of this video. But yeah, that video was quite fun to make, and hopefully we can do something similar in the future with something else. Anyway, after that, um, I announced a new project with another four people. It's called Discovery Bay and it's going to be a really, really fun project. It's going to be a highly detailed park and we're also going to have custom made soundtracks for the whole park because two of our, the team members are actually very, very good at making music. So I hope everyone is excited for that. I certainly am. Although I haven't actually properly worked on the park yet, I've um, seeing the progress that's been going on uh, that the other members have made and it's looking quite nice at the moment and now on to my previous video uh, you could probably have already have noticed that uh, the dome has been done off camera and <laughs> there's a reason for that um, the dome is probably one of the most frustrating things I've ever had to make in the game uh, just the shape of it is not good uh, for the planet coaster um, so I got quite frustrated on, on that and I had to take a break hence um, no planet coaster videos for about a week so I hope everyone can understand why I had to take a break but uh, that's done I still need to do an interior for it but I'm trying to hold that off because I don't actually have that many uh, photos or anything uh, since they've redone it for the 2020 season uh, they've got a new, uh, they've replaced Finn's Bar and Grill with an Infinity restaurant uh, to fit the theme of uh, Fort Park a bit better. Uh, unfortunately they have removed quite a bit of uh, the theming if you will. They've removed all the rocks that are inside and just replaced them with black, uh, just blackout boards or I don't know what they're called but... Um, that's quite unfortunate, but it, the, the restaurant does look quite nice and hopefully I might be able to go in there soon. I don't know when I'm going back to Fort Park, but I really do want to hopefully go this year. Also in that last video, somebody kindly pointed out that uh, on the hill they have actually moved all the seating area 
just in front and the rope fence all goes all the way around um, I have actually seen a picture of it and yes they have so I'm just going off of the street view at the moment which is from 2017 unfortunately uh, that's the that's the latest street view they have done for it if anything does need changing or if anybody notices something that's off please let me know and I will change it because I do want this to be as accurate as possible Another thing that I actually do need to finish off is blueprinting in all of my other recreations because um, I did start doing it, you can probably see some of them, them in the background but um, I did get quite bored <laughs> of doing it, it was not exactly the most fun process um, you would have to do in Planet Coaster but it's got to be done and uh, for Tidal Wave I actually do need to make uh, the fence into Team TK uh, because the queue actually takes up 40,000 pieces in that recreation and that's a bit ridiculous for a queue line so um, I do need to make those into Team TK uh, another thing that I've actually done um, if anybody has seen my first ever recreation Nemesis Inferno they would know that the shaping of the Zero G and the corkscrews are absolutely terrible <laughs> so um, I have fixed those in this recreation of Fort Park, but I didn't really know what I was doing uh, six months ago. I uh, didn't really know what banking offset was, and I was also s limiting myself uh, to the, using the path system. And I'm not going to be doing this for this park. I'm all of the plaza, all of the plazas are going to be uh, Team TK pieces or just concrete. I really, really don't. I'm not worried about uh, guests actually riding any of the, the coasters or rides um, just because if you were to open um, this park to guests which you won't because I've actually uh, moved the entrance to somewhere where guests can't actually get to the park uh, but if you were to actually open it to guests uh, my PC would probably crash uh, I just don't want to uh, kill my PC before I've uh, finished it anyway I don't really like the way guests work in this game they're a bit weird um, as in they only really like airtime and head chopper moments so they get the guests in this game do get bored very easily so I just don't really want to deal with them uh, the only guests or people that will be walking about in this park will probably just be staff and for Tejikam because uh, I Instead of using the Archer, I actually do use Tejicam quite a lot uh, because I still think that Tejicam is a little bit higher than uh, the Archer. I'm using a mixture of both to get the scale right, but um, I, th I think using a mixture is still quite helpful to get scale right. Unfortunately, I don't actually get a depth charge finished in this video. Um, that will get done in the next episode of making Fort Park. But as I said before, I uh, do have quite a lot going on at the moment and I am still really trying to get two videos out a week. I know it doesn't seem a lot, but sometimes I do struggle a bit. Um, that's another reason why I don't really do voiceovers a lot because I'd rather have quality over quantity. Uh, so I don't like to rush voiceovers because I like to get them uh, sort of as entertaining as possible. Um, I'm still not very good at voiceovers, so I do apologise for that. So to finish off the video, you can see me doing the support for Depth Charge. I, I was actually quite surprised that there were only two of these uh, cross-beam type supports in the middle. Uh, but I guess they're only water slides. They, um, they probably don't weigh that much um, worthy of like five supports. Uh, but after this, I do uh, the grass and some bushes underneath uh, the slides uh, but that's really about it for this video so uh, thank you for watching and I hopefully will see you in the next video of Fort Park goodbye